pleasure to have you here with us Thank today. You. So let's start from your first few gigs. How did you get into the city? My first few gigs, it was like seven years before. I, won a, I, won, I was a 20 years old and there was time I lived in Russia. I lived in Novosibirsk city and uh, I win one conversation, the best DJ from Siberia, you know. And after I start my career, but it was maybe few performance in Novosibirsk. And after I traveled to Turkey, I started living in Turkey, and my career started in Ankara. After I lived in to Istanbul, and my career started already in Stad Istanbul. Oh, Istanbul. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. so you yeah. would say Istanbul would be the yeah, Istanbul is yeah, the main was... city where oh, I go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, nice. ju I just uh, finished some school in Siberia. Yeah, and uh, win one uh, conversation and after I yeah. like, having to Istanbul, yeah. yeah. Can um, you tell us a little bit about your musical journey? What was your first experience like? Uh, the first gig you ever played? Do you recall any memorable moments? Yeah, of course. Uh, now my main style is um, indie dance. Oh. But of course, uh, near the time, like uh, step by step, musical uh, taste is changing about DJ every time. And I remember when I start maybe with tech house, mm -hmm. after I continue with melodic techno, and later I start playing indie dance like this. And my okay. first gig, it was. It was not this much big, it was in one club, but it was mm -hmm. nice. I, I remember only good yeah, vibes yeah. from the... I, I remember only good vibes, you know. That's so. nice. But yeah. nothing special because special. it was first. You know, yeah. so. <laughs> you were kind of nervous. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But of course I was nervous. But, yeah. you know, when I when I performed the first time, I directly understood mm -hmm. that this, this is what I want to do all my life. Right. Yeah, right. Like, I like this feeling. Yeah. What inspired you? What kind of artist did you get inspired from? And how do you see that journey coming to be? You know, uh, I like uh, music, you know, I, I didn't like selection some artists. I, oh, okay. I just listen the styles and I just I understood I like or no. So I don't have a favorite like, uh, of oh, course okay. I like, uh, I like uh, the famous like uh, Nina Kravitz I like, but I didn't play like, techno. Uh, but I like because like she, uh, she's also a woman, she, uh, she's right. nice and uh, Yes. For sure, I, I just uh, they inspire me. Yes. And all women who become the star from this yes. industry, they are inspiring yes. me. Like uh, also Anastasia, mm -hmm. the nice and uh, a lot of girls. Yes. I like. Yeah. yeah. So, speaking of, uh, in especially in Sri Lanka, in the industry, especially in the progressive scene and in the DJing career. Women are a little bit limited and you are now an up-and-coming, up very famous kind of like, mm -hmm. I would say, at least mm -hmm. in the Asian, um, around that area. So how do you feel about women being in the industry now, more prominent women? For start, it uh, was really difficult because mm -hmm. it's like a, some stereotype, like yes. if you woman, it exactly. means maybe you play like uh, mm -hmm. not so well like a man, but uh, when you start, uh, by the way, I'm also coach now, and when I start like coaching people to the gym, mm -hmm. uh, another man start looking for me in a different way, yes. and it's it's just you know okay they can think in whatever they want, but when you come to stage, when yes. you show your like your skills, when yes. you show what you can, it's stereotypes just stereotypes. Thing. And anyways, the DJs now and female DJs artists are actually pretty prominent, and people actually love that now like coming. To yeah, sure, yes. sure. And you know, I, I didn't, I don't have a sort of uh, difference between men and women in general. Yes, exactly. Not only in, of course, in music, of course, in, in creative. Yes. Like we are all people, and it's more important. Yes, exactly. That so. was that's a nice message to yeah, send yeah. out to the yeah. rest of the world as well. Yeah, sure. So your recent track Mantle on uh, Supermatic. Can you tell uh, us a bit about the production process and what inspired you and how you got to? Yeah, make sure, that? sure. It, you know, it's my uh, the most lovely track from my releases, and I did this with uh, one uh, really talented sound producer we did oh. together with Amir Gariplar. And you know, I'm really uh, inspired about this uh, ethnic uh, atmosphere because of this time. Uh, this time I was living in Istanbul, and this a little bit inspired me. And uh, I really like this track. Yes. And I hope you and like all, guys everybody also. Everybody yeah. yes, we love the track. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, so um, we are really excited to see you play tonight. So that will be it for uh, today's episode. Um, thank you for being here with us. Thank you for too. Thank okay. you for inviting. Thanks.